This video is going over a problem from the Building Java Programs version 4 book, and it's in chapter 8, which is about classes, and we're looking at self-check 7, which is uh, called Name, and this is really about class creation. So it's your first chance to really experiment in creating your own class. So they want to call a, a create a class called Name. So it starts out with public class and then you know you, you've already seen a lot of this throughout chapters one through seven you just put the name of your class here so nothing nothing different about that we know that we've got to close that brace now the the new part is that the class is going to have fields named first name representing a first name last name middle name okay so what you're used to first of all let me talk about what you're used to is you would then have a public static void main with string argument args okay you would have a main and inside here people are used to, to putting uh, string first name right that's what you're used to this is uh, sorry let me this is a local variable only accessible inside main okay what we're talking about in chapter 8 is a new thing okay that's where outside of the main outside of any method inside this class now we're gonna put string first name okay this is a class variable and this is accessible anywhere inside the class any method okay so Let's imagine that I, you've seen already pl plenty of examples like this where you've got public static void, um, let's just call it test, okay? And inside here, you're used to using, um, you could create um, another variable, string first name here, okay? So this is another local variable and this one would be accessible only inside test. It has no relation to main's first name, okay? These can be, would be completely different things, okay? But now we've got a first name here. This actually is available inside both of these functions, okay? Uh, now it's an important question how do you refer to this class first name versus these first names in here and we'll get get into that later on in the chapter um, but for now let's just finish declaring this so we've got a middle initial that represents a single character so it's care uh, middle initial and remember that um, classes always start with an uppercase okay but these primitives here are not classes. These primitive data types, care, int, bool, etc., um, they're, they're, they're lowercase. So <laughs> it's a little bit confusing, but remember that. And let's go to string and then last name, right? Okay. So let's try running that. And that works. So problem 8.7 is actually continued on problem. 8.11. I'm going to make another video for that, but definitely after you do this one, jump over to 8.11. If you've found this useful, please like and subscribe.